In today's video, we will be talking about shock loading, how you can tell if your windshield hoist has been shock loaded and how you can go about avoiding it. Proper operation of your equipment with a winter hoist is essential for safety. This includes taking precautions to ensure smooth operation when reeling in and out or raising and lowering a load to avoid shock loading. Shock loading is a sudden jarring application of force. It can be caused by unexpected work conditions such as a sudden drop, raising the boom or engaging the winter hoist quickly or hidden obstacles that stop progress while handling a load. Environmental conditions can also cause shock loads, such as wind or high waves. It is always better to operate a winch or hoist at a slower speed to mitigate any potential problems. Shock loading can damage critical parts of the winch or hoist. In particular, they can damage the brake clutch or sprag, which is responsible for holding the load. Note the damage here. The sprag camps have imprinted in the inner race of the brake clutch due to force caused by the shock load. In extreme cases, the entire winter hoist may be destroyed. A minor shock load may not produce noticeable damage immediately, but multiple repeated shock loads can eventually cause a failure. Under continued misuse, the service life of a winter hoist will be reduced. Compared to inner working components, shock loading is often more easily apparent by damage to the wire rope as seen here. This is usually a good warning sign to check the winter hoist more thoroughly. To inspect for indications of shock loads in planetary winches and hoists before any failures occur, you can use magnetic particle inspections, or MPI, of the internal ring gear and reduction gears, as well as periodic brake tests. For more information, contact your nearest Packer Winch distributor or visit PackerWinch.com.